Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here again. I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I have a uh, another live soda. It is um, these aren't good. <laughs> They're not good. <laughs> they all look exactly the same too. Look at the color on it. It looks exactly like the other ones. Um, they can try to make them different all they want, but they're all the same and they all have the same stuff floating around inside the bottle see look at this stuff growing on the bottle and they're all in date they're all in date until this one's good till December so you have to keep them refrigerated and you have to drink them quickly but they're live sodas this one is root beer live kombucha soda and you know detoxifiers, electrolytes, antioxidants, organic acids, uh, 60 calories a bottle, handcrafted in Austin, Texas. If you want to check them out online, it's livesodakombucha.com. Just don't, don't buy into the hype. <laughs> if, <coughs> excuse me. If you want something that's, uh, going to be good for you, sure, get, pick these up. I'm sure they're good for you. They got, uh, good bacteria in them and live like uh, like uh, yogurt is or something like that if uh, you want something that actually tastes good mm -hmm, I wouldn't bother so I'm doing the root beer now my <laughs> that gummit okay find some way to open this up I can just start ripping my shirt there we go all right what does this one say taste of wellness whatever if that's what wellness tastes like, oh, wait, hang on. That smells like root beer. That's the first time it's actually smelled good. That doesn't even smell like beer. The other two smell like beer and tasted like beer. That smells like root beer. Now I have had. Uh, I don't. I don't like beer. I don't. I don't like too many alcoholic drinks. There might be one or two that taste okay to me. But truthfully, I just, I, that's not me. I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, there was a hard root beer that I had one time. One bottle of it I found. And I was like, oh, I wonder how much this actually tastes like root beer. And it tasted like a really malty root beer. And it was really good. Uh, I just had the one bottle. You know, I haven't had it since. But I do remember it tasting pretty good. And I've seen it since. I just never pick them up because it's just not what I'm into. But maybe this will have that kind of a taste to it. Again, these are all non-alcoholic, so don't worry about that. Um, they're just soda. You know, you don't have nutritional facts on alcohol. <laughs> they want to they want to not tell you what's in there. Otherwise, you wouldn't drink it. So, this one shouldn't tell you what's in it. There's too many things in here that most people will say, I'm not drinking that. And I wouldn't blame them. So, let's see what the live kombucha soda raw and organic root beer tastes like. No. Mm -mm. That doesn't taste anything like it smells. It has that 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 unnatural sweetness to it again. It doesn't taste like beer. I get the hint of root beer. I see what they're what they're trying to do, but it has this unnatural sweet to it. It's just, I can't imagine drinking too much of these things. That's enough for me. I don't even want to try it no more. Man. The, 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 the fake sweet in it is the worst part about it. Because it completely covers your palate. And once it's gone, it's still there. You know, once the drink's gone, you still have that fake sweet that, uh, overly fake sweet stuck around in your mouth and it's it's just disgusting vibe soda you guys did hmm, I, don't, I don't know who thought all this was a good idea it wasn't your your sodas i'm gonna be blunt your sodas are disgusting i'm not one to say this i'm not i'm usually one to kind of be a little nicer 
and not be the uh, the guy that just downs everything. I'm never the guy that looks for negativity in a lot of things. I like to kind of see the positive aspects of things. Like, there's a brand new Ninja Turtles movie coming out. I'm a big fan of Ninja Turtles, and I like the classics, and I like the new stuff, and I think the brand new movie is going to be decent. I think it's going to have some good stuff in it. You have a lot of people that aren't even going to give it a chance. They say, oh, look, Michael Bay's directing it. We're going to, uh, we're just going to down all over that. We're not going to have nothing to do with it. And no matter what they see in that movie, it's always going to be negative to them because they had that initial reaction to the, to the designs, to the trailers, to the names associated with it. So no matter what they see, it's always going to be bad. When it actually probably won't be. It'll probably be decent. I had good expectations for this stuff right here. I had good expectations. <clears throat> Now, I don't. I don't have any expectations for the next one, except for the fact that it's going to be overly sweet and nasty. And that's a shame, because I'm not that kind of person, and this soda's made me, this line of soda's made me a negative person, and I don't like that. So, kudos to you, Live Soda, you made me a negative person. Wow. A whole character transformation on YouTube because of Live Soda root beer yeah okay if you like this video follow me on twitter at soda underscore hunter facebook.com slash soda hunter kevin subscribe to the channel like the video talk about this mess if you want to i don't care um and until next time happy hunting